Okay everybody, David Loomis here again. Um, last time I think I showed that I'd persuaded my 440 to reverse its spindle. Um, I think I said I thought I could persuade it to do power tapping. Um, today we're going to have a shot. This is a little part that I make, oh I don't know, a batch of half a dozen of, maybe once or twice a year. Um, usually I do it by hand. It takes me half an hour. <coughs> Bit of filing, manual drilling and hand tapping. But, just for fun, let's try and do it automatically today. Everything's set up, ready to go. Just press the start button. Off we go. Okay, step one's uh, spot drill. Spot drill is followed by a two and a half millimeter drill prior to tapping. Okay, ready for the tapping operation. The tap size is M3 by 0.5 and that's a Tormac ER16 tension compression tap holder. Absolutely critical that we get just the right lubrication here and for this application I find that uh, one dollop of just about any old thing does the job. So, a little bit of oil on each hole. And we're ready. And this is the bit they say you can't do. Pretty convincing to me. Last stage is uh, an 8mm end mill. There's a 2D contour on the edge. And at that point we can flip the part. <coughs> Similar finishing job on the other side. The stock was just rough cut with a hacksaw. Precision not a great deal of importance here. So we'll load up the second op code and we'll start it off. Use the spot drill again to put a little chamfer on the back side of the tap holes. See how this works.
And finally the 8mm end mill again to take the hacksaw marks off. And that's the job done. A bit faster than me doing it by hand, it has to be said. And there we have the finished item in place on the data logging and traction control system intended for race cars. Um, four of the five devices you can see mounted in the heatsink are the switches that control the fuel injectors. Um, you have to keep them cool because of course race engines go much better when you keep the fuel cool. Must be worth an extra 5 horsepower. Sitting next to it is a completed zoom box about to leave for a customer. It's still got the older heat sink in it which must be slightly slower. Don't tell them though, I won't. Thanks for watching, bye.